Your typical sortie can be completed in under 15 minutes. Under 10 if you get lucky with the mission choices. They're a source of ribbons, boosters, and even a legendary core. But what are the odds, and just how valuable are these missions? I'm the Engineer, let's solve a practical problem. In this video, I'll explain what a sortie mission is, how rewards are given out, and then explore the probabilities and averages you can expect from that. Oh, and if you find these types of videos helpful or interesting, consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. Sortie missions are unlocked by completing the War Within quest. This opens up a special mission tab on the top right of the navigation screen. There, you'll find a series of three connected missions that will usually take up to 15 minutes to complete, although certain missions will force the overall time up considerably. The most notorious there are the Defense and Ambulance Assassination missions. These missions are substantially higher level than their star chart counterparts, with the final mission reaching up to level 100. On top of this, the missions all come with a randomised modifier to increase the challenge. Some are less of a problem, like the fire hazard, while others create unique problems, such as enemies with radiation or toxic elements added to their damage. Pretty much the number one cause of death in a radiation mission is a Sarin, Mesa, Ember or Equinox player not being careful about when they press 4 on their keyboard. In preparing for the modifiers, the main things to have in your arsenal are one of each type of weapon restriction, a Warframe that performs well with low energy, a Warframe that can block status effects, a Warframe or weapon that can deliver high toxin damage, a Warframe or weapon that can deliver high physical damage to counter elemental enhancement, and a Warframe with an exalted weapon, which can help when the weapon restriction modifier isn't one that you like. If you're at the level where you're confidently handling the steel path, you'll be able to complete virtually any sortie with just your normal loadout. But for those coming out of the Star Chart missions for the first time, a proper arsenal is necessary. All three missions will be against the same faction, regardless of the tile set, so mod accordingly if you could use the boost. Once you've completed the sortie, you can run the missions again, but you will not get any more sortie rewards for mission completion. And every day, the sortie will be replaced with a new one at 5pm GMT. The specific missions for the sorties also come with some other various modifications, depending on the exact mission type. Spy missions will fail instantly if just one vault is failed, whereas defense missions have an operative to protect instead of a cryopod, and excavation demands you extract 500 cryotic to complete the mission, modifiers to that effect. So let's have a look at the rewards now. Sorties don't give normal mission rewards. This includes the assassinations not giving out Warframe blueprints. Instead, you only get credits, the drops from enemies and crates during the mission, and then the sortie reward at the end of the third mission. The sortie reward will be a random item from this table, and is the same for everyone in the same squad on the third mission. If you're awarded a Riven, everyone receives the same category of Riven, such as Shotgun. However, the result of unveiling that Riven isn't connected for the squad, so each person will likely unveil a different weapon's Riven to everyone else. Boosters which are received in the rewards are automatically activated, adding their time onto any existing boosters you have of the same type. As you can see from the percentages, combining the Anasa Sculpture and 4000 Endo options, we have around a 40% chance of basically just getting Endo, with a little over two thirds of those drops being in decoration form. After a few sorties, you'll probably pick up a small collection. Just a few, perhaps. Now given you can do a sortie every day, there are 365 days in most years, and we know what the drop rates are, then we can very simply multiply 365 by the drop rates to get the expected return in a year. This gives us 102 ribbons, 102 Ayatin sculptures, 44 extra chunks of Endo, 37 upgrades like Former or Orokin Catalyst, 44 lumps of Kuva, and 36 assorted boosters. You are, sadly, quite likely not going to get any legendary cores in a whole year of sorties. Of these drops, the ribbons, cores and sculptures can all be sold to other players. Taking the average value of those drops on Warframe Market, and running it past the chance of them dropping, the average sortie is worth around 10 Platinum on PC. If you also include the savings from items which normally can be bought with Platinum from the in-game market, like boosters and reactors, the average sortie value climbs to around 16 Platinum. But simple averages are boring. You, the Tenno watching this right now, are not average. In fact, judging by the comments on other probability-heavy videos, 
The majority of you are apparently so unlucky, it's a miracle you haven't all been struck by lightning. So with that in mind, let's look at some probability ranges. Starting with the item sculptures, the pineapples of the Endo world. While a year of sorties would typically give out 102 of these, little variations to be expected. Around half of everyone will get between 97 and 108 sculptures in an entire year of sorties. Around 99% of everyone would fall between 80 and 124, with fewer than 1 in 10,000 people managing either more than 136 or less than 70 sculptures in a year, such as the nature of a bell curve. Ribbons come out very similar, as the chance of getting any ribbon is 27.9%, compared to a 28% chance of a sculpture. On average, you can expect to receive one fewer ribbon per year than a NASA sculptures. Even then, the most unlucky person should still see well over 60 ribbons a year, more than one a week. Into the less common drops, we've got Endo and Kuva. Most people running a year of sorties will get 40 to 47 packs of each of them in a year, and roughly 99% of everyone will get between 29 and 60 prizes each of Endo and Kuva. To get further outside of this range would take some serious luck, as fewer than 1 in 10,000 people will get less than 22 packs of either Endo or Kuva. Going further down the rarity, we have the upgrades, which include former, Exodus Warframe adapters, Orokin catalysts, and Orokin reactors. Most people will pick up around 33 to 40 of these in a year, typically split between the four options. The vast majority of everyone will be looking at between 23 and 51 of these per year, with only a select few people averaging more than one upgrade item per week. Next then, we have the boosters for mod, affinity and resource drop chance, and these are at a similar level of combined rarity as the upgrade items. Most people will pick up between 32 and 39 within a year, which would mean a total boost time from sorties of 96 to 117 days. Fewer than 1 in 34,000 people will pick up enough boosters to cover just half of the year. Now I don't think anyone's ever had a dream of getting endless boosters from doing sorties, but if you've had that dream, consider it crushed. The chance of getting at least a year supply of boosters in the year, so that's 122 plus boosters which can still include overlaps of different types, that chance is roughly 1 in 146,000 billion billion billion. Yeah, crushed. And then this brings us on to the final reward, the ultra rare, the half mentioned meme of loot that refuses to show up for most people, the legendary core. If you feel like you probably won't get one in an entire year of sorties, well, you're right. 51.8% of everyone watching this video could do every single sortie in 2022, so too bad if you've already missed some of them, and still, you will never get one legendary core from the entire lot. Of course, if 51.8% of people don't get a core, that means 48.2% will, and not just one core. 34.1% of people watching who dare to do a year of sorties will get one legendary core. 11.2% will get two cores. 2.4% will get three cores, and 0.4% will get four cores. With a cheeky 1 in 1,928 players who do a whole year of sorties, finding themselves 5 legendary cores. Yet where RNG giveth, RNG taketh. For every person who has the luck to get 5 cores in a year, there's another person with equal but opposite luck who would complete 4,198 sorties and still never receive even one legendary core. And you know what? That's still a better farm than Ash. I hope you have enjoyed this video or learned something new. If you want to see the probabilities in more detail, the data behind this video and many previous ones is available over on Patreon. Check it out and support the channel with the link in the description. That's all from me for now though, so as always, run sorties, get pineapples, and fight well Tenno.